Hi there, it's good to see you again. Today we're going to talk about the VMware Hardware Compatibility List, or HCL. This tool can help verify that your hardware is certified to work with VMware products. You can find it at vmware.com go slash HCL. Before we jump into the tool, let's talk about how the HCL process works at VMware. Hardware manufacturers run tests for their systems and components and submit those test results to VMware for verification. Once the results are certified, the data is updated on this site. This validation process ensures that your hardware works the same way every time. There is a lot of information on the HCL. So for this video, we're going to focus on three of them. A filter-based search, downloading compatibility guides in PDF format, and a broad keyword search. Let's start with a filtered search on one of my ESX host types that I want to upgrade. It is a Dell PowerEdge R740. We'll look through the results for the CPU that I have. Once I find a match, I can click on the entry to view the details. We'll see some notes and a list of supported BIOS versions. Reading through the notes section in detail, you'll see an update about using Quick Boot in certain configurations. A KB article is provided with more detail. Keeping your BIOS up to date on your hardware is very important as some features and functionality are tied to new releases. If you scroll through the list, you'll see new features implemented in BIOS updates with links to detailed information. Some updates even extend guidance like configuration maximums. Clicking on the Compatibility Guides menu will provide a list of downloadable full-length guides in PDF format. For example, if you're working on a Horizon project and researching thin clients, you can get a list of all supported devices which includes Horizon versions supported for each. You can also search for specific components. If I need to research vSAN compatibility for a specific device, I can find valuable information on it. It appears that there's a known issue that I can avoid by following specific guidance. I can also see the firmware version the device should have, as well as how vSAN supports using that device. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give me a like. If you want to see more content just like this, tap that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.